Hey guys, this is Atisha. In this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step process on how you can install Tailwind CSS to your project. So let's get started. So you need to have Node.js and Visual Studio code installed in your machine. So if you don't have them already, don't worry. I'll give the links in the description box down below. You can download from there. Now let's head on to our project. So I've created an empty project in here with the name Tailwind CSS installation. So let's open up the VS Code terminal. As the first step, we need to initialize this project. So I will write the command npm init hyphen y. This will create our package.json file. So we also need to create a public folder wherein we will be uh, storing our index.html and our CSS file as well. So let's create our index.html file. We can write the command exclamation and hit enter. This will create a boilerplate uh, HTML code for us. You can give the title whatever you want. So I will give the title as Tailwind CSS installation and save it. Now let's install Tailwind CSS to our project. So we are going to refer to the documentation for the installation. So here you can go within docs and go within installation since we are going to install Tailwind via CLI. So I'm going to refer to this portion of the installation process. So as the first step, we need to install Tailwind CSS via NPM. So I'll copy this line, paste it over here. So now after installation, if we have a look at this package.json file, our Tailwind CSS is installed as a dev dependency with the version 3.3.3. Now let's head on to the next step. So as the next step, we need to initialize Tailwind CSS so that this tailwind.config.js file is created. So I'll copy this and paste it over here. Okay, so our tailwind.config.js file is created. As a next step, we need to configure our template path. So what does that mean? So we need to specify in which all files and folder we are going to use Tailwind. So for that, we have to write the location of our files and folders within content. So I'll copy this and paste it within content. So as I've told previously also that we are going to store our index.html file where we will be primarily using Tailwind CSS utilities. So I will write public here instead of source. This star star specifies that if there are, are any subfolders within the public folder, it will find for HTML and JS files in uh, there as well. But since we don't have any JS file, I can remove this from here and I don't have any subfolders as well. So I'm going to remove this as well and save. So before proceeding with the next step, let me explain you how Tailwind CSS works under the hood. So first we create an input file where we import all the Tailwind styles and here we can also write our custom CSS as well. Then what Tailwind does is it process this input file using a Tailwind script, convert the Tailwind styles into vanilla CSS and stores this in an output file. So that output file is being used in our index.html file. So whenever we make any change in our input file or use any of the Tailwind utility classes in our index.html file, we have to run this Tailwind script to process and reflect those changes in our style.css file. So now as the next step, we'll create that input.css file. So I'll copy these three lines from here, go back to my project, create a new folder, let's call it source. Within it, I'll create a new file, input dot css and paste those three lines let me explain you what these three lines are doing so this at the rate tailwind is nothing but a directive which is telling the uh, css processor to insert the tailwind's base components and utility styles into our css now it's time to create our actual output.css file for that i'll have to write the command npx tailwind css and as the input i want it to take the file that is stored in my source and the name is input.css and as the output i want it to generate a new file which will then be stored in our public folder let's call it style.css and hit enter okay now you can see our style.css file is created but as i've told previously also if Whenever we make any changes to our input.css file or say add any Tailwind utility classes in our index.html file, we have to rerun this script again and again. So for that, what we can do is we can instead add a watch flag so that whenever we make any changes to our input.css file or say add any utility classes, we don't have to write this script again and again. This watch flag is going to look out for changes and rerun this Tailwind script again automatically. So you can let it run in the background. Also, there is one more thing. 
for example you open up this project again then you will have to write this long line again so instead of that what we can do i can copy this from here go back to my package.json file and here write a script instead let's call it build you can call it whatever you want and paste this in here now the next time i'll open up this project so instead of writing this big line i can simply write npm run build so this will let this script run in the background so you can see this style.css file got generated and within it it has injected the base styles that are uh, that is also called pre-flight and after that whatever components we are going to define in our input.css file that will get reflected and post that whatever utilities we are going to use in our index.html file that will get reflected post it so the last thing that is left is to link our index.html file with our css file that got generated so i will add that as well now we are good to go we can add tailwind css utility classes in our project now let's quickly try if our installation is done properly but before that i would highly recommend you to install two of the visual studio code plugin one is tailwind css intellisense this is provided by tailwind uh, labs so this provide advanced features such as autocomplete syntax highlighting and linting so this is a really good tool to have in your visual studio code Apart from that, you can also install this live server by which you would be able to open up this project. So let's add a background color to our body, BG yellow. You can see this drop down because you have installed uh, Tailwind CSS in Tailsense. Let's take BG yellow 500 and within it, we can give it a heading. Let's call it Tailwind CSS installation. And we can give it a class as well. Let's give a text color to it so let me give it say black and save so if you have that live server installed and you right click you get this option of open with live server so i'll click on it and yes we can see that our background is turned yellow and our text is written in black that is tailwind css installation so that's all for this video i hope now you have successfully installed tailwind css to your project and if you're using any frameworks, say React.js, Next.js or any other, the steps remains almost the same, but there is some slight difference. So if you want, I can make a separate video on that. Do let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, do hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel for more such content in future. See you in the next one.